शिप ब्रेकिंग और शिप रिसाइकलिंग इज अ वाइटल इंडस्ट्री फॉर रिकवरिंग मटेरियल फ्रॉम डीकमीशन वेसल्स इट प्ले इज क्रुशियल रोल इन सप्लाइंग स्टील टू डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमीज providing employment to the thousands and contributing to the circular economy by ensuring the sustainable reuse of ship components however this industry is also notorious for its hazardous working condition and significant environmental risk south asia specifically india bangladesh and pakistan dominates the global ship recycling industry due to their low level cost and suitable sea beaches for end of life vessels among these the alang ship recycling yard in india has in recent years emerged as a model of improvement particularly in terms of safety and environmental standards it stark contrast to its counterparts in bangladesh and pakistan Alang has implemented substantial reforms over the past decade these improvements have put the indian yards ahead of its regional competitors in terms of worker safety health standards and environmental practices the global ship recycling industry and south asia's dominance ship breaking is an industry that caters to the decommissioned of end of life ships which are dismantled recover steel iron and other valuable materials south asia accounts for more than 70% of global ship recycling activities india bangladesh and pakistan with their expansive coastline and affordable labor have long bill leaders in this domain alang located in the state of gujarat in india is the largest ship recycling yard in the world its rival the yards in chittagong bangladesh and gadani in pakistan have similarly served as hubs for ship dismantling for decades however the industry's reputation in this region has been marred by frequent accident poor working condition and inadequate safety protocols alang's transformation a focus on safety and environmental standards over the last decade alang has undergone a significant transformation earlier it was often criticized globally for its deplorable safety condition lack of protective equipments and high accident rates workers were routinely exposed to hazardous materials such as asbestos lead and mercury without adequate protection the indian government in collaboration with ship recyclers of alan has implemented a series of reforms aimed at addressing these issues safety protocols one of the most important areas of improvements at alan has been enhancement of worker safety the yard now adheres to the guidelines laid down by hong kong international convention for the safe and environmentally sound ship recycling which emphasizes the need for safe and human working condition workers at alang are now provided with appropriate personal protection active equipments ppe including helmets gloves steel toed shoes and respiratory protection to shield them from toxic fumes regular safety drills are now mandatory and workers are trained to handle hazardous material more efficiently safety officers are deployed across the yard to ensure that safety protocols are followed the improved safety measures have led to significant reduction in accidents and fatalities in alang health and medical facilities another area where alang has made remarkable strides in providing healthcare facilities for workers in the past access to medical treatment for injured workers were scarce 
and many workers suffered long-term health problems due to exposure to hazardous substances. Today, the yard equipped with on-site clinics, ambulances and medical personnel trained to deal with both immediate injuries and long-term health monitoring. Also, Alang has ultra-modern hospital facility which runs by Red Cross of India. This ensures that workers receive prompt medical attention in case of accidents and regular head checkups to mitigate the effects of toxic exposure. Environmental sustainability, environmental degradation was one of the most glaring problems at Alang. The practice of beaching sheep driving vessel ashore for dismantling often resulted the contamination of coastal water and soil with oil, heavy metals and hazardous chemicals. However, the yard has recently taken steps to minimize its environmental footprints. One major change has been improvement waste management. Hazardous materials such as asbestos, PCBs and Heavy metals are now handled with care, ensuring they are properly treated and disposed of according to the international standards. Furthermore, the yard has set up facilities for oil spill response and pollution control, significantly reducing the risk of marine pollution. In addition, Alang has invested in cleaner technologies including cranes and equipment designed to handle ship components in more environmentally responsible manner. This has not only improved efficiency but has also helped curb emission from ship breaking activities comparing along with Bangladesh and Pakistan. While Alang has made notable progress its counterparts in Bangladesh and Pakistan have struggled to keep pace with these developments. Bangladesh Chittagong's challenges. Chittagong in Bangladesh hosts one of the largest ship breaking yard in the world. Despite its prominence, the safety and environmental standards at the yard lag behind those of Alang in India. The majority of workers in Chittagong lack proper safety gear and fatalities are frequent due to the unsafe working condition. Moreover, child labor is still a major issue in Bangladesh ship recycling industry. The environmental condition in Chittagong are also far from ideal. Hazardous substances are often dumped directly into the beaches or into the sea, leading the severe pollution of these coastline and water bodies. The lack of waste management infrastructure and government oversight exacerbates these problems. Pakistan Gadani struggles. Gadani in Pakistan was once the second largest ship breaking yard globally, but in recent years it has been declined in operation due to the safety concern and environmental degradation. Gadani witnessed one of the deadliest accidents in the industry's history in 2016 when a ship carrying explosive materials caught in fire, killing over 25 workers. Such incidents reflect the poor safety standards prevalent in the yard at Pakistan. While there have been some efforts to improve the safety in Gadani, they have not been as compre comprehensive or successful as those at Alang in India. The industry in Pakistan continues to face challenges related to weak regulations, insufficient oversight and lack of investment in worker training and safety equipments. Why Alang is ahead? The key reason why Alang has managed to stay ahead of its regional competitors lies in the proactive approach taken by the Indian government and industry stakeholders. Alang has 
benefited from investment in infrastructure, training and technology which have enabled it to raise safety and environmental standards. Additionally, the YAR's compliance with international regulations such as Hong Kong Convention has given it an age in attracting business from shipping companies looking to scrap vessels responsibly. Along Shipbreaking Yard has made remarkable progress in improving safety and environmental standards, positioning itself as a leader in global shipbreaking industry. While Bangladesh and Pakistan continue to face significant challenges, Alang's proactive approach driven by government support, international cooperation and well in advance initiative of Sheep Recyclers of Erlang has set a new benchmark for safety and sustainability in sheep recycling industry. The road ahead is not without the challenges, but Erlang's trajectory offers hope that the sheep breaking industry can evolve into a safer and more environmentally friendly sector. Thank you very much for watching this video till the end. We'll meet you with some other stories on shipping and maritime sector. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye and please do subscribe our channel.